Hello students. Welcome back to Techo Kids. We are back with scratch programming tutorials. Today is your 7th class in which you are going to learn how to create fruit ninja game step by step using scratch. So let us start up the scratch editor. The first step is to set up the stage uh, for the game fruit ninja. So for this I just uh, don't need the sketch I'll just delete it. Now we'll just start by setting up the background for the stage. So let us go to choose a backdrop and from here you can upload a backdrop from your device where you can download this Fruit Ninja background and then open it. Now to make it uh, like cover the entire stage, what we will do is we'll just convert it to vector and then just resize it this way. You can also see changes over here on the stage and we'll just make it this. Just make sure it covers the entire stage like this. Okay, so our stage is ready. Uh, now we just need some sprites for this game we need fruits as sprites so we'll just select fruits like apple you can also select um, orange yes then you have watermelon this one and then you have bananas as well so just select it so yes, you have these fruits like apple, orange, watermelon, and bananas. Now, in order to uh, make it like uh, the split ones as well, we'll just go to costumes. Here, you just duplicate the sprite with the help of an eraser. Uh, you can just split it. Make sure you reduce the size of the eraser to say 5 and then slit it like this okay and with the help of this arrow we'll just select the upper portion of the apple okay and then just move it apart so as to create a proper uh, split of the fruit right make sure you rename these costumes properly like for this sprite, I will say it split apple. And for this, okay, apple is okay. Let's go to the other cost of sprite as well, like orange. For orange, uh, you have a sliced orange as well, like you can select it from here. You can select either of these. I'll say I'll select this one. Now, I don't need this shadow part of this orange. So what we can do is just select this shadow uh, carefully and make sure you just delete it. Okay. Then, if you see the size of the original orange and the sliced orange is quite different right so we have to reduce the size of this sliced one as well so just reduce it this this if it still appears quite bigger so we'll just reduce it again i think this will be okay now since I need two parts of the orange, right? So I will just select this and copy, paste, and then flip it like this. Okay. You can adjust uh, the rotation as well. And here it will look like this. This is the complete orange. This is slit orange. Okay. 
this is fine now we'll do the same for watermelon as well i don't need this uh, slice of watermelon so just delete it now i need two halves of this i have one only i'll just select it then copy it paste it this way keep it here and then make sure you flip horizontally then you will get two halves of watermelon this way okay so this is our complete watermelon and this is split one i will just rename it watermelon split watermelon and this is your just watermelon right now finally for bananas as well again we'll uh, use an eraser to just cut it like this and then select the upper portion of the bananas so that you can just move it from here uh, make sure the selection should be proper, otherwise uh, the parts get disturbed. So without disturbing its major parts, we'll just carefully select it here. Okay, and then just move it like this. Uh, we did not duplicate the banana, so what we will do is just choose a costume. And from here, we will search for bananas. That is the complete one. And here you have this. Okay, so this is your complete bananas, and these are. Uh, this is the split one. Now, we'll rename it. Split bananas, and here just bananas. Okay, so for every sprite, I have this costume like complete and the split one for orange as well for watermelon this way and for bananas like this so the sprites are ready backdrop is also ready now let us start coding it okay now initially we want all these fruits to be hidden and they will come up one by one okay so the first step we'll do first thing first like we'll just when when the game starts every fruit should be hidden okay so when when green flag is clicked we'll hide it this way you can just select hide block from looks okay let us do the same thing for other sprites as well say height then green flag is clicked this and for watermelon also when green flag is clicked it should hide now here for banana also the same thing hide it when uh, green flag is clicked okay so initially all our fruits will be hidden you can just check it by clicking the green flag all fruits are hidden now i want my fr fruits to come one by one okay to make it come one by one what we will do is let us start with apples like uh, make sure the first costume should be selected so from costumes just select the first one okay so for this sprite i want this to appear first or when this is this fruit is appearing to start with we can just say it to go to a particular position okay like here i want it to start from say anywhere this position right so i'll just say it to go to this particular point like this now if you see uh, here I don't want my fruit always to come from this particular point it may come from here 
from here, from here, like any point, okay, to start with. So I want it to select randomly. So to get back to uh, thing, we will just go to operators. You can select it, pick randomly, okay. Pick randomly from the entire range of X, like from this corner to this corner. And you can make use of this value. Like you can say it to select from negative 195 to positive 195. And Y value, like the height of the fruit uh, should be from this only. Okay. So it can go randomly. Fine. And after this, I want it to come up. It should show itself. So let's give it show command from here. Okay. So it will come from any random position. You can see it is moving through the X positions. Right. Now to make it come up, what we will do is uh, we will just say if the like, like the value of x is say positive then at that time what we can do is say like you know, if 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 x is positive now how to say this uh, in command we can say that when x position is greater than zero okay so that way it will become it will select the positive values an x position x position is present in motion we can select it here like this if x position is greater than zero then what should happen that it should point to a particular direction okay while moving it should point to a particular direction so here we'll select point to direction Say, let us give it some value like this um, upward like this movement will become very obvious when the fruit will start moving so for this we can just say it to point in random direction say 132 170 okay we are selecting random value so as to give a free movement to the to the fruit okay for that case, we will just go to operators and again select pick random. Pick random value from say 130 to 170. That is the angle in which it will be pointing to. And after that, let us say it should go to some step. Okay. Now, say some random step. For that, I will just create a variable. Let us say it uh, number of steps. Okay. Now, I will just set this variable. After this, I will just set this number of steps to say some, again, some random value between five. Uh, steps to 15 steps okay so let us just say it from operators you can select pick random value between 5 to 15 say 5 to 15 steps okay now here it should keep uh, moving forever for these many steps that that are selected okay now i'll just say it to move those many number of steps now you can select it from variables like number of steps move that many number of steps that it has selected randomly okay now this thing will happen this thing will happen forever. So from control, let us select forever. Okay. Now we have so we have given these instructions for the positive values of x. Same thing we will do for negative values of x. So just duplicate it and put it here. And 
this time we will just switch the position if zero becomes greater than x position now this time uh, it should point in direction to say 30 to 60 and for number of steps uh, we'll keep like this thing only all right so let us see how this truth works now you can just click the green flag you can see the random positions from which uh, the sprite is coming up okay now i want my other fruits also to move in the same way so for that we actually have to give it the same instruction okay so the entire block is to be repeated for the other fruits as well so a quick way of doing this like instead of just uh, repeating the same thing what we can do is we can just copy this entire block into the workspace of another sprite now how to do that uh, just see what you have to do is just drag this block to the sprite area go near to the sprite where you want to copy it uh, if you notice it will titter a bit like this so just keep it there now just click here in orange yes you have this block just place it properly is there an apple as well as an orange okay here is an apple and an orange as well now the same thing now the same thing we can do for watermelon just drag to the sprite area wait for watermelon to set up and here it is this way that goes for bananas as well okay so from watermelon just drag here to bananas and yes you can find it placed here okay so now the same block is an apple an orange and watermelon and also in bananas now let us check how these fruits are moving uh, yes that's how they are moving over the random position yes so we will continue with the remaining part in next class if you want to learn more about scratch keep watching our videos also make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one thanks for watching